I'm standing in a very unique place right now. It's a bridge between Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. This bridge is official deviation point uh, between two of them, and it's in Tarifa. Which is the most southern point of Europe, and right behind, just 14 kilometers further, is Africa. It's quite windy here almost every day. In fact, 300 days a year, they've got very strong wind, which makes it perfect for wind sports like kitesurfing. But Tarifa is not only perfect for kitesurfing, it's also one of the main migrating routes for birds. For example, seabirds, they always migrate above the sea. That's where they can find food, they, they catch fish, they can drink seawater, and it's the most safest way for them to do it. And eventually, all of them will end up here. And that's the only contact point between Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. In its narrowest place, it's only 14 kilometers from Spain till Morocco. The small strait behind me is creating like a bottleneck where all marine birds will eventually pass through. And that's why I'm here, to count them. I'm staying here and that's old uh, military base. You can see the checkpoint is still here. But now it all belongs to the scientists. This is Bartolo and he's been shot in his left wing. Unfortunately, he cannot fly anymore. Right now, he's living at the base, and the guy is taking good care of him. Here are living rooms, offices, and communal area. So yeah, as you can see, here's the table for meeting, heating, uh, fridges, and kitchen. Yep. And there's a guitar. <laughs> many birds are here. So the best way to count is to divide them in a chunk of tens and then you can get approximate number. I had to go through the training, there are special program for that and you can try it yourself. How many birds are here? That was the first time for us to, and all of us came up with different results. The average out of four people was 700, and the actual number was 485. It's 44% error, which is quite bad, so we had to practice way more until we get into the 10% of error. Why count birds? It's a good question. In fact, the fluctuation of size of population of birds can tell a lot of different things to us. For example, if the marine species of birds declining and humans don't hunt for them, that means that problem is somewhere down the line. So that could be environment, uh, that could be pollution or declining of fish, the food these particular birds rely on. Then you look why is fish population declining? Is it overfishing? Is it pollution? And so forth. We started to count birds because we are interested to know the impact of the human activities on nature. Population of seabirds had declined by 70% over the last 70 years. Most common issues are overfishing, bycatch and obstacles in the middle of the sea. That's the birds we're gonna count to understand why they are declining and what can we do about it. That was our typical morning. We're waking up, packing the stuff and going to the island, which is actually close to the public because it was military area. But science is capable of opening any door. And we're going 
to our watching point to see the birds down there. Set up the telescopes. We count the birds with the help of clicker and this is the expert level clicker. You can count four birds at once. We start. Uh -huh. Ready? Go. We usually counted for 10 minutes and then compared the results to get the average number. I've got 136. Whoa, yes. <laughs> 144. 137. Okay. 102. Bird migration depends on the wind. And today we've got wind coming from Atlantic side. It's not uh, really good for the birds we are counting. They have to fly against the wind. It's similar like swimming against the stream. But we have other birds which actually use that the same direction, this wind. So every day is a bit different. And also we can add any additional data about the birds we've seen. Today is intense, we've got some extra people. Other days there was 2,000 of she waters in the whole day and today it's like 2,000 in 10 minutes. Two thousand four hundred ninety-two. Yeah. Because Tarif is so close to Morocco, a lot of refugees try to cross this channel, and I just found a boat here. Look, life vest. It's not known if the boat got here safely or it was uh, drowned and uh, just came here on shore. Who knows? We came to this place for tagging. It's an agricultural area with a lot of cotton fields around and also bushes and one small artificial made channel. So there's like a flock of storks and yeah, a very good place for birds. Here are the mist nets. We put those nets to catch very small birds, uh, to tag them, check their health and uh, record the data and then release them back. So that's how they trapped into the nets. Check the nets every hour to see how many birds are here. And then we take them to the tagging point. In the morning there were way more birds. And now every hour we check there are less and less birds. There are different types of rings depending on the size of bird. The pliers have the holes the size of the rings. And the ring they must move. Mm. These birds cross the Sahara. It's 2,500 kilometers of, of distance without possibilities for uh, eating. Oh. They need uh, four days, seven days for crossing the Sahara. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the species is a uh, robin, Erita curruvecula, un petit rojo. Second part is to check the age. You can see that these feathers are different of this one. This is a juvenile feathers. Yeah. What's... 
The fat is orange or yellow and their skin, red color is a uh, muscle. Okay. Six. These girls are coming from Germany or France or even mm. uh, farther more. No. which are quite high in the mountains and it's a bit tricky to get there. Griffin vultures can weigh up to 10 kilos and their wingspan are up to 2.5 meters. They're really huge. Here is about 70? Yeah, and this... another 75 here. And in the middle there is Egyptian vulture. Uh -huh. The Egyptian vulture is near extinction. There are only 22 pairs left in Andalusia. I'm driving home and there is one more story I wanted to share with you. Here in Tarifa they've got about 1000 of uh, wind turbines uh, generating electricity. At the same time they've got millions of uh, migrating birds passing each year. Some of them get killed by the wings of the turbines. They cannot really see if they fly from a side. So here about 100 ornithologists working daily and when they see the bird migration, they could stop the wind turbine. Uh, and it will stop in, in a matter of one minute. The most interesting thing that uh, those ornithologists are get paid and they are hired by the electricity production company. I think that's amazing. And since they implemented this system, uh, the mortality rate was reduced by 